Hey guys, it's me, Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and I'm here today to do a blue box unboxing. Blue box are the jewelry boxes that Goodwill drops every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Time, and they were $29.99, and you would get a five pound box of mystery jewelry for crafting or mixed, just mixed jewelry. You never know what you would get. They just actually raised the prices. So they're now $34.99, and that just went live this past Friday. But this box right here, I did get before the price incre increase, and this one did come from New Jersey. I think, I wanna say like Hackensack, New Jersey. Somewhere in New Jersey. So I'm gonna get right into it, and I'm just gonna um, unload this onto, into a big shoe box. I am going with a little bit of a different method here to try to control the mess a little bit better. <laughs> And I am going to pull items here as we go and I will place them onto the camera so that you all can see them and I don't have stuff spilling everywhere. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise, no look collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller and I sell primarily on eBay. My shop name there is also Nola Collectibles. And so if you like jewelry content, this is the spot. Uh, I do all kinds of thread up unboxings, goodwill unboxing, shop goodwill unboxings, estate sale hauls, thrift store jewelry hauls, all of that good stuff, all jewelry. So I don't want to delay. I pulled this cuff out first and foremost, and this is just like a very weird kind of cuff here. I don't know, kind of almost looks like some kind of natural matter. <laughs> like, does, does that look like root matter or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, just a random kind of like wide cuff here. It feels like it's plastic and that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> not really seeing any kind of name on that, but I don't know. It was just there at the top. So it was the first thing I pulled out. I'll pull out. Looks like there's another cup here. Over. We're going to be dealing with some tangles. Oop. Well, right on top here, I do see um, a ring. So I'm going to go for this. And this is looking like a little kind of like cigar band ring here. And it has what appears to be cubic zirconia. Very, very nice uh, prong set, little tiny prong set and pave style here this is definitely looking like sterling silver and so let's see did i bring yes i did my magnet just kind of looking at it a little bit closer and don't know that i'm seeing anything on the interior of this ring like a, a, a metal purity mark or anything like that but it's definitely cute it looks great um, it looks like that. Like I said, it's kind of like a wide cigar band style, but it's very delicate. It's very pretty. It's got all of this like filigree work and milligram work. So that's a nice little ring right there. So yeah, just grab that guy right off the top. So that's a nice little ring. I'm happy with that. I will definitely test that, do my diligence there just to make sure and see what we're working with. I have a little brooch here as well. And this is kind of like, this looks... Uh, not to be vintage in my opinion. This looks a little bit more modern and it looks like this. I'm not seeing any kind of maker's mark or anything on there. Green rhinestones and that guy looks like that. So yeah, that looks a little bit more modern to me. So we have that little brooch. Here. I'm also hoping this is going to mitigate the tangle situation a little bit. I can't make any promises though, but we shall see. And so I have this little brass uh brass bangle bracelet here. It has a little bit of enameling work. And that guy's looking like that. This kind of looks like the ones that you, that are imported from India. So we have that guy right there. So yeah, you guys, you tell me what you think about this price increase. Um, do you think it's going to stop people from buying the blue box? I kind of don't think so. There seems to be this like pretty massive fervor and I'm sure <laughs> I'm not helping the situation. And I think, obviously, I think YouTube um, definitely makes people get excited because you see what people are unboxing and you're like, I need some of that in my life. So you go, <laughs> so you go and you line up for the boxes. I'm guilty of it too. I'm still trying for thread up stuff. I haven't gotten a thread up box in a while. Um, anyway, so yeah, this looks like, a, this is like a gold tone kind of statement E rhinestone bracelet and it says Juicy Couture right there. And this is very cute. It's kind of got this push clasp closure on it. 
like that. It's in decent condition and it has just a really cute kind of cabochon center, peachy looking cabochon center and it's surrounded by rhinestones. So that's a cute little bangle bracelet by Juicy Couture. Very nice. Juicy Couture still sells for me. I don't know how it does for you guys. Um, I have here what looks to be like a little costume jewelry piece and this is silver tone with what looks like kind of like a faux moonstone. You can see there how that looks, but this definitely looks like costume to me. I don't think that this is silver. It is not magnetic, but it's just got that look, you know what I mean? Where you can kind of tell right off the bat if something's uh, sterling silver or not. So we have that. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. We're having fabulous weather here. It is, of course, summer already. Um, <laughs> so we're in the upper 80s here in New Orleans. But the weather, it's very nice. There's not that much humidity and uh, yeah, it's pretty outside. So I have this here and this is kind of like a silver tone chain necklace here with large acrylic kind of beads and some of them are wire wrapped as you can see here. This guy, there is like a little bit of a wear, just a little bit of wear to it. This one has an N on it. So that, that does look like I think navy, is this navy? I think it's an older Napier um, hang tag when Napier, I think, you correct me if not, but I think that's what it is. Uh, I'm trying to think, because otherwise, mm, it's definitely not Madri. Yeah, I think it's like a more recent Napier. So yeah, so we have that one. It's just like multi-chain kind of necklace there, and then the wire-wrapped lucite kind of faux crystals. I'll put that right over there. Okay, I am seeing here what there is a, looks like a faux gold, it's like a, not a, it doesn't look like real gold, a tennis bracelet style bracelet here, and all kinds of crystals in there, or what could be cubic zirconia. It is slightly magnetic, it could be um, a gold plated situation, but this guy is, is looking like that. So you can see it's, it's very pretty, and it has um, just nice little cubic zirconias in there. It's in very, very good condition, gold tone. It's got the double safety clasps here. So just a box clasp and then the double safeties right there. And so that's a nice bracelet, but definitely costume, but I do like that. I think it's very, very pretty. So we have that as well. That's not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm pulling this out here and this is kind of like that uh, Murano style glass ring here and it has a little bit of the copper flex in there so uh, these you, you know you can always find these glass rings everywhere and uh, it's nice and wide and it, it looks like that and so this guy like I said you can pretty much find these everywhere the ones that you want to look at that obviously are a little bit more as if you find like a Baccarat. Baccarat makes beautiful glass rings Baccarat crystal and I'm trying to think similar to Baccarat. I'm drawing a blank, but yeah, that's very nice. Not bad. See what else we got here? Um, jewelry today, you guys. I had thrifted this Native American faux opal ring right here. I like it a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know, the nail polish, it's not totally my vibe, but it's like the last nail polish strip that I had left. I have a nail subscription that I do. Uh, called Nail Shack and I do it through Crate Joy and it's really good. It's very reasonable. It's like $9.99 a month and you get four packs of nail strips. So like a month's worth of nail strips. And this one, I don't know, it's very like Princess Elsa. <laughs> I'm like, let it go, let it go. So yeah, it's not totally by vibe, but it's the last one in the pack for last month. So I'm trying to be economical here. And then I just have uh, my wrap bracelet that I got in Santa Fe. And then I have a thrifted David Yerman bracelet. So this bracelet was one of those epic thrifts. It was $1.99, it was super tarnished. It was at the bottom of a plastic bin and it is real authentic David Yerman with diamonds and uh, chalcedony. So yeah, I pulled that guy out. Still a, still a goodie, obviously. And look at this. This is some not, some, not so authentic looking David Yerman. <laughs> so
so yeah, here, that's so funny. This is sitting right on top. So we have like a similar kind of like cable bracelet here. And this one has like little faceted crystals at the end of it and a little bit of two-tone gold on that. And you can see that's definitely just trying to be kind of like David Yerman style, but it's not bad. It's actually in good condition. And that's right there. I'll put that right there. That's not terrible. It's just that cable two-tone style. We don't have to say it's David Yarman. We'll just say cable two-tone. I have a brooch here, gold tone, brushed gold and pearl. It's looking very much in the style of, hold on a second, I will tell, Trafari to me, it's giving me Trafari vibes. I had a, I have a pair of earrings like right over there <laughs> next to where I'm doing this that look just like this. So yeah, it's giving me Trafari vibes, but it is um, missing some pearls here and the metal is definitely worn and a bit dirty and there's nothing, um, there's no maker's mark. Oh, I lied, there's something there that's, very faint, very, very faint, and it is Trafari, so yeah, okay. So we have that little dude right there. Not sure if I can clean him up because it definitely looks like it's worn. I have a little pendant here that I just pulled out, and this one is just kind of, looks like, um, this gives me Premier vibes, Premier Designs vibes, and this one is just kind of like that porcelain, the blue Chinese porcelain look, and this is just the pendant that was hanging out on top. So we have that. I'm noticing two of the same bracelets here, and these are kind of these are kind of cool. They have snake clasp closures, and you can see the hook just goes right through the snake's mouth. And we have like a woven leather. This one over here, it looks like it's coming apart a little bit. So um, too bad because they're they are kind of cool these are kind of cool bracelets i like the hardware on them but yeah one we'll need to go to craft and then we have the other one so there was two of those I have another brass bangle bracelet here this one again with a little bit of enameling work on it it's got these raised little like hammered kind of bits on it and then there's a little bit of enameling on it that actually does look like the pair that goes there it looks like his little partner right there I have a stretch ring here and this one just kind of has a cross design on it and a little bit of rhinestone detail. All rhinestones are, are there. And this, this dude I think would be a good candidate for what I call my garage sale box. And so, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of, um, we'll do garage sale occasionally and I'll just clear out some of the items that are, you know, like more generic brands or not branded at all. Here I have what looks like a little bolo tie and this has a little cattle or steer on it with faux turquoise eyes and that guy's looking like that that's not bad i actually have sold quite a bit of bolo ties bolo ties tend to do okay for me on ebay uh there's definitely just you know there's a market for that people who are actively looking for them here i have a silver tone ring with a little aurora borealis crystal detail here and you can see that it's kind of like faux channel set pretty modern and that one's looking like that just a little piece of costume jewelry there seems to be like a lot of rings in here i'm seeing more as i go in i'm gonna grab some of them uh there's this what looks like maybe stainless steel and wood men's ring here definitely has a bit of wear to it so we have that guy Another little fashion ring here, and this is just kind of like a domed style ring. And this is costume. You can see there's quite a bit of wear to the back of it. So we have that guy. There's another ring. I thought this was something else, but it is a huge little like cluster, huge cluster ring. And it has faux pearls, leaves, and that guy is looking like that. That's a big one. I can't even imagine wearing this. This was probably super clunky, like on your hand. So we have that. It's all kind of like fall vibes, all kinds of fall colors, coppers and browns, and all those leaves in there. We have that one. Yeah, you know, the thing with Goodwill is you know, they're here to make a, they're there to make a profit, you know, and, and the fact that they used to do these curated blue boxes when they first started the blue box program and they were pretty fabulous. And I want to say they started out originally at like 45 
and it was a, a box of curated goods and they were supposed to be like better quality and they were pretty good like you get some really nice beautiful pieces a lot you know sometimes sterling silver sometimes gold really nice quality stuff um and then they raised the price to like 49 and then i think they raised the price to 54 and then eventually they just stopped doing them all together um but they were kind of like a fun option but that's the thing it's like they see the popularity of these items and then they just keep like raising and raising the price knowing that like the demand is always going to be there so this is just an Ann Taylor Loft silver tone, large chunky link, double double strand necklace. I like this one a lot. It's actually in very good condition. I think this is like a nice kind of neutral staple that's good for any outfit really. And you can wear this like, it is a little bit on the heavier side, but that's really nice. It's in great condition. So a loft necklace there, not bad. This is another one of those rings. This one's exactly like the other one. <laughs> person liked it so much they bought two of them so here they are <laughs> one's kind of got like gray smoky kind of looking stones in it the other one had the ab so we had two of those right. I have this necklace here okay this was looking like a bright in i wasn't 100 percent sure sometimes a little bit kind of like premier designs ish don't you think but we have pretty abalone kind of shell detail down here. And then we have the signature Brighton heart clasp there. And there is a little Brighton B heart there as well. So this is actually very nice condition, this little Brighton necklace. And this is nice, very nice. So yeah, that's a great little piece of jewelry right there. Brighton's still selling well for me. So I'm happy with that. I think this is nice. I like this one. Very, very nice. It's a goodie. I'll take it. Thank you. Another ring here, this one gold tone, kind of like with an oversized stone right here in the middle. It does look to be like a natural stone. And this is kind of cool. Yeah, this is cool. Big, really, really big. Statementy, and it just has a little bit of texture on the side. And that's kind of cool. That looks to me like reminds me of something you would also purchase at Loft. So that's a nice ring. We have that guy as well. So many rings, there's actually a lot of rings in here, you guys. <clears throat> Here's another one. This is another just like a little fashion ring, gold tone, and this guy's got a little rhinestone in the middle and it's adjustable. So we have that guy. I have this like Shambhala style bracelet here and it's just um, like a little bit of like kind of like textured beaded detail there. And that one's kind of nice. That looks like that, very nice, good for layering. Christmas earrings attaching themselves to this necklace. I have this interesting looking necklace here. This is kind of faux hammered details, um, big oversized lobster claw clasp, no branding on it. This, this looks like it should not be here. I don't know, there's something like weird about this. Like someone glued this in here. And like the reason why I'm saying it is like, because you can see here, it's like kind of jumping off of the back. Like it doesn't seem that this would be the proper size for the setting. <laughs> so, and I mean, I like the kind of like look of the necklace. Like it's kind of looking, it's reminding me of Daenerys Targaryen. <laughs> it's a little Targaryen. It's a little bit Game of Thrones. Um, I don't know. I think that someone may have stuck that on there. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, we have this necklace as well. That's interesting. I have a little um, stretch bracelet here, silver tone stretch bracelet. That guy's looking like that. I have this, which just attached itself to that stretch bracelet. And this is looking like a little sterling silver, badly tarnished little dog pendant. And so, yeah, I think this looks like silver, but I think it's, I mean, you guys, you can see it. It's like black. It's so tarnished. Yeah, yeah, let me see real quick because there was just like a little, um, um, oh, this actually says uh, gold filled, 14 karat gold filled. Okay, so not in the back of this little doggy. Little doggy says 925. Okay, got it. So we do have like a little 925 dog, dog pendant. He's actually very cute. <laughs> um, you know, he's got a very full mane. He's very cute. He's happy. He's smiling. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, on a gold filled chain. And so that's a little interesting pendant right there. I like it. I think it's very adorable actually. Um, it just needs a good cleaning. So I will put that guy aside over there and he will get a cleaning when I'm done with this. Um, but there's this great kind of like a Facebook group. You know me, I'm always talking about Facebook, Facebook groups. Um, it's all about like jewelry repair. I can't remember the exact name of it right now, but that's obviously what they focus on. They were like, it's like restore, repair, jewelry, vintage jewelry group or something along those lines. And they introduced me to this cleaning product called Blue Magic. It comes in a blue tube, obviously. Uh, but it is the most fabulous like metal cleaning paste I have ever used. Like when I tell you I've used other methods on certain pieces of sterling silver and I will still have like black residue remain that I cannot get off like it almost to the point where it looks damaged. This guy takes everything off. It's fabulous. So um, and you can get it on Amazon. It's called Blue Magic and I want to say it's less than $10. But yeah, so we have this this kind of like woven copper gold tone necklace here. It's broken. You can see right there. So that I will put towards crack. Yeah, so I love the Blue Magic. It, it really is. It's magic, man. <laughs> so this is looking like almost like a lucky piece of jewelry to me there is something on the back I can't really make it out but it looks like costume and it's just one of these like elongated it's got a texture to it a little fashion ring right there so I will pop that guy right there and then what else do we got here I have another little fashion ring here gold tone with rhinestones and this is very cute got like you know the pink oversized I don't know like a 10 millimeter and then it's got a cute little blue rhinestone and then a, a pinkish red rhinestone on the side got another little fashion ring right there very cute like I said there's a ton of rings in here what else look at this guy another ring wow look at this <laughs> silver tone panther or leopard on top of your ring <laughs> it looks like this <laughs> wow <laughs> it's pretty cool i think it's kind of cool i mean it's like very over the top obviously and i don't know if i can imagine even wearing this because it sticks out so far um you know this is like an inch above your finger <laughs> so i can't imagine what this is like wearing in daily life but it's pretty cool he's got green little eyes so, and he's hanging out on top of a branch. Um, so we have that guy. <laughs> That's cool. What else? Lots of interesting stuff in here. This New Jersey box is uh, definitely filled with some goodies. I have, a, this is a JJ brooch and it actually looks like it's broken. I recognize this piece. It's a little cat sitting on a ledge and it should have a string attached to it. And he should, I think he's catching mice, I wanna say. So he, you can see here he's broken. He's missing that little string piece. So that will be a good crafting piece. Continue on. I have a brooch right here and this one is not marked, but it's got like really pretty kind of hematite looking, marcasite-ish hematite looking rhinestones. Very pretty, very sparkly vintage piece right there. And so we have that. I have this one of these little plastic fashion rings here that's shaped like a rose. That's very cute. I have this floral, silver tone floral and rhinestone kind of like, you know, like daisy chain style necklace here. It's got a spring ring clasp. Obviously this is costume. I re remember selling necklaces like this at Claire's. <laughs> I mentioned in many videos ago that in high school I worked at Claire's in the mall and I pierced baby's ears. <laughs> but I also worked at jewelry stores, watch stores, all of that stuff. But yeah, I remember selling something very similar to this at Claire's. So we have that. I see something interesting. I have a this interesting necklace right here. And this is looking like natural stones possibly. And we get a little hang tag and oh, whoop, this is Mignon Faget. Yeah, this is very surprising, you guys. Mignon Faget is a brand from here, from New Orleans. And it's a fine jewelry designer and specializes in mostly silver jewelry. And this is so odd coming from New Jersey. But I guess maybe, maybe it's like coming back to the mothership. This is exciting. 
<laughs> so we have what looks like maybe moonstone um, chippies there, like natural kind of moonstone and maybe some little peridot beads in between there. This is very nice and sterling silver. This is very, very nice. I'm very surprised to see this in here coming from New Jersey. So that's exciting. This is a beautiful little necklace. Um, I can guarantee that this likely sold for quite a bit of money. I know Min this is so funny. I was actually just in Mignon Fage like a couple of weeks ago. And let me tell you, I felt like Julia Roberts in, in, pretty girl, in Pretty Woman when she goes to Rodeo Drive and they like ignore her. But it was kind of like that, which was very surprising. Like there was three women working there and I was the only person in the store and none of them even acknowledged me when I came in. So anyway, they fancy themselves very fancy. <laughs> so um, I would gather something like this maybe costing like five to $600 originally. It's It needs a cleaning. I will clean it up. I'll probably use my blue magic. And this is very, very pretty. There's some up here. I almost feel like it should have a pendant on it. Like right here, there's a little bit of some kind of residue in between the stones, which is making me think, like I said, like maybe something was there, like a pendant or a drop, something like that. But regardless, I think this is a very beautiful piece of natural stone jewelry and sterling silver by the New Orleans design of Renéon Faget. So that's wonderful. This is exciting. Very, very exciting. That's definitely... That's the best piece so far, you guys. That's phenomenal. Back to the motherland. Thank you. Thanks, blue box. Jers. Here, uh, more fashion rings. We have just a little fashion ring right here. Quite a bit of them. I have this um, kind of, I don't think this looks, this looks like Kenneth Cole. Yes, Kenneth Cole. So we have a little Kenneth Cole kind of like tiger's eye um, stone necklace right here that's got like wire wrapping on it. So we have that. And then this little dude came flying out just now. Little, looks like a sterling silver piece. And this is kind of again in that like sterling silver rope design. And it has um, quite a sparkly little center stone. I don't know if I think that's natural but this is very pretty. On the back, it's marked sterling. So we have a little sterling silver pendant here on a box chain. Also needs some really good cleaning. So that's very pretty though. Let's see, magnet, magnet, who's got the magnet right here? Yes, very nice. This is a nice little pendant, definitely. Again, kind of like um, almost David Yerman-ish, I would say, but yeah, needs a good cleaning, but I bet you it will look fabulous once it's clean. There's this like crazy feathered multi-chain necklace here. Very lightweight. I am not seeing any kind of maker's mark on it, but we've got all kinds of hanging bits on it. We've got chain, we've got feathers. And so that also has a bit of wear to it. So I'll put that aside. I am not a fan of feathers. <laughs> they tend to get dirty, not secondhand feathers. Secondhand feathers. It sounds like a that would be my drag name. Secondhand feathers reporting to the stage. Um, a couple of pairs of earrings here. This is a gold tone pair of hoop earrings. And then similarly, the same exact pair here in silver tone. So we had both of those. More little rings here. So many old fashioned rings. Oh, that Mignon Fage is super cute. That's exciting. Okay, here. Huh. So I have this in here, which to me was giving me very much, you ever see, um, there's a brand, a vintage brand called the Miracle, and it's based in Scotland, and they make Scottish and kind of Celtic designs. It's It was giving me Miracle vibes. And on the back, it does look like maybe it's, it's pewter, but on the back it says Mitzpah. Let me just double check here to make sure I'm telling you the truth. I think that's what it said. Yes. It's buff. It's buff. So that's very pretty. And so it's, I'm saying mitz, mit, I'm confusing mitzvah with mitzvah. Like a mitzvah is a blessing in Hebrew. I don't know what a mitzvah is, but <laughs> um, that's cool. I like it a lot. That's very, very neat. And you know, we're talking about Game of Thrones. So that's kind of in, in, in the vibe in the keeping, in the keeping of the throne. Oh, 
here we have a ring setting with no stone and it is marked 925 and this is a really cool setting. So I don't know if the stone fell out or someone intentionally took the stone out. It looks like it would have housed a pretty sizable stone there. So do I have my, no, I thought I had maybe my, um, my tool for measuring stones nearby, but I don't because I actually just ordered a stone for a setting but it's um, on my other table. But yeah, that's a nice setting. So I will measure, it is marked 925, like I said, right there on the inside. I'll measure this and see if we, I think this would look fabulous with a cabochon, like a big, maybe like carnelian cabochon or something like that. I think that would be absolutely stunning. So that's a nice setting. It's too bad it's lost, lost its little uh, stone, but it's a very nice setting. That in there. Another little fashion ring here. This guy looking like this, it's uh, got quite a bit of wear to it. Not really sure what it is. It's uh, kind of like an abstract leaf design. So we have that. What else? More fashion rings. So many fashion rings. What is this? Well, this is interesting. Okay, I had just pulled this little ring out. As I'm looking at all the fashion rings, I just found this little guy right here. And this one is marked 925 on the inside. Hold on a second. Yes, 925. And you can see this is like kind of pretending to be like Art Deco, but it's definitely newer and it has some pretty fancy, I would say these are like trillion cut, but they're more like diamond, like an actual, you know, like diamond saw, uh, what you think of a traditional diamond shape to be. And we have a green, like a green stone, and we have the clear CZ there. And so, yeah, that's a very interesting ring right there. Let's see. Let's see if the magnet is attractive to it. It is kind of, it's not. That's pretty. That is a very nice. Okay. That's a beautiful, nice little sterling silver ring. That's very, very nice. So we have that guy too. All right. Listen, this box is delivering. It is, I am not disappointed at all. Uh, that Mignon Faget piece is pretty freaking fabulous. What else? I see this little dude hanging out here. There's a little bonus hair on it. This little guy right here, he is like a little, um, I don't know, maybe cubic zirconia, um, pave turtle. How cute is he? Let's go on the back. He is, is he marked? I'm not seeing a 925 on him, but he definitely looks like he would be silver. Let's see. Yeah, he's super, super cute. I love. Adorable. So yeah, that's a goodie too. I like that little turtle. So cute. Nice. Great pieces, you guys. What else is left in here? I have this little um, parrot brooch right here. You can see he's just got enamel on him and green and purple. No kind of like maker on him, but we had that guy. I have just a lot more fashion rings. These guys right here, some, some sizable, some not. So we have those. More fashion rings. I'm pulling them all out because there's so many of them in here. I have these guys, the big mirrored oversized one. I have this one with the Aurora Borealis kind of like star motif. And then we have this stretchy one here. I'll put these guys over here. This little stretchy dude right here. And it's got rhinestones and faux pearls. This one's kind of cute. We have all of those. I have this. I think this is an owl. We have this owl looking cuff bracelet here, fashion, um, possibly brass, and it is stretchy. And that guy is looking like that. I have this, I have an eagle brooch here. This one's looking like that, Vin definitely vintage, looking like it's got quite a bit of wear on it though. And so I have that guy, back is looking like that. I have this silver tone and mesh rhinestone bracelet right here. I think that is definitely costume jewelry. So we have that little guy right there. 
another fashion ring. This one kind of like a faux pave with rhinestones. Missing a couple of stones there. Another little fashion ring. This one is adjustable with kind of like a smoky, kind of faux smoky topaz style square cut. I have this one here. I am not sure what this is, but the inside says DC. Unsure of the maker, and I am not sure what that was supposed to be. I'm like, is that a watermelon slice? Is it a pizza? Not sure, but that's there. This one, another fashion. Hold on, let me just double check. This one, oh, this one's actually marked 925. So this is a supposedly sterling silver with a emerald cut, big, chunky, huge rhinestone right in the middle. A couple of little um, faux CZs right along the sides. Let's get the magnet out. I will, of course, test these as well. So anyone, just because this one just looks very shiny. This almost to me looks like what you see coming out of China in terms of the jewelry that's marked 925. You always have to test your jewelry. I always do because you don't know, China produces a lot of fake silver. So, uh, you know, always want to be safe. So this one and that one right there, that weird little one um, that looks Art Deco, I will test that one too. Uh, these to me are the two most questionable, but yeah, we have that little ring right there. I have this, this is kind of interesting. Um, this brooch right here. This is looking to me like possibly Horn, possibly Middle Eastern. And um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let's check the metal on there. <clears throat> I'm going a little hoarse, you guys. Yeah, that's not magnetic. That looks like it could be gold. It's got a very old C clasp on the back, which indicates typically oftentimes age. So this could be a very old horn or maybe it's tort some kind of tortoise. Uh, but yeah, that's very cool and very interesting and something I will most definitely need to do more research on. So we got a, an interesting little piece of jewelry right there. I'll put that guy here and he'll go into my need to do more research pile. I have this little, um, this one, this marked. Another kind of little costume jewelry ring right here. This one's giving, I thought maybe like a Stella and, and Dot type look to it, but it is not marked. So we have that guy. More, more fashion rings. This one, a little pave rhinestone with a butterfly. I have this, this is looking like, this is looking like sterling silver herringbone. It says it's made in Italy. And so we have this, uh, herringbone necklace here it says 925 made in Italy and it is very dirty this guy definitely needs some cleaning it looks like actually like a fancy herringbone herringbone where you can see there's a little bit of design elements there to it and so that's nice another little sterling silver necklace so yeah that's fantastic so we have a little bit of pressure we have some precious metal in this we have some vintage we have contemporary, very, very nice overall. I am not complaining one bit. Here I have another bracelet. This one I can see does is marked 925 as well. So here we have a little charm bracelet and there's a little um, stone right there. It's got a toggle. And yeah, this one looks legit. This one to me looks more like maybe Mexican silver. That's very pretty. So yeah, that's in there as well, you guys. That's very, very nice. Very nice little um, charm bracelet. Very good, sterling silver. Awesome. Like I said, this is not disappointing. What else do we have in here? Another setting with uh, a missing stone. Again, this kind of similar brutalist style setting, very organic, and it looks like someone just popped the stone right out of there. So yeah, I have that in there as well. Trying to see where to go. This is looking vintage. There's a pin in here. Oh, and this is uh, Florenza. Okay, so we have, this is very beautiful. This Florenza brooch, is it missing any components? Ah, yes it is. It's missing like one of these little turquoise guys over here. Oh, 
see like if this was oh it's missing all of those rhinestones too like at the top you can see there's a number of missing rhinestones but this is beautiful you guys i love the center kind of stone there i love the greenish colored if i had my little uv um guy on me i would test it to see if they would react if they're uranium glass uh this is very beautiful i love the mesh it kind of um just very very pretty and you can see there right on the back that that is marked florenza so uh, I do like to repair pieces. I like to repair my vintage jewelry. A component like that worries me a little because it's an odd shape and it's it's kind of like oval. It's kind of like opaque turquoise. It looks almost teardropish. Stuff like that worries me because that's hard to find. But, you know, I put it aside and I don't know. We'll see what I can do with that. But that's nice. That's a really beautiful vintage Florenza brooch. Another little fashion ring right here. This one just gold tone bow with a little um, stud in the center. No mark on that guy. This here, we have this cute little green. This looks like um, almost like natural stone, like he she style. And this guy, a little toggle clasp on it. I think this actually is homemade because I'm just looking here and I can see kind of like the beetle on there. Is, um, is exposed there, so in the crimp beads. So, but that's cute. Like I said, it's kind of got that he she look to it. He she, um, you know, the natural shell jewelry that Native American uh, jewelers make. We have that. And then here I have uh, a little gold tone, again, toggle bracelet here. That's very nice, in very good condition. Um, looks very new, looks very shiny. I'm not seeing any kind of maker's mark on that, but we have that as well. And that's really it, you guys. I'm really getting to the bottom here. I don't have a whole lot left. I have this um, gold tone, this one. What is this? Gold tone. It looks like one of those magnetic style kind of anklets right there. It looks like it's got the magnets on the inside, I think. Yeah, so I think so. So yeah, I'm going to, I think, conclude right here you guys because there's just like single earrings bits and baubles left and let's go through real quick what some of the winners are here obviously I love this Mignon Faget necklace I think this is absolutely gorgeous it looks like natural moonstone and possibly peridot I liked what else do we like here I, I did like this bright in necklace I thought this was a nice kind of piece right here definitely resellable a little sterling silver charm bracelet was very very nice some of these sterling silver rings i like this little turtle he's super super cute great little piece there that sterling silver this little sterling silver pendant right here i think this horn brooch pin which could be very very old i guess it's got that c clasp on it and that middle component looks like it could be gold that's very very nice this little sterling silver ring that we looked at kind of in the beginning. I like the Florenza piece quite a bit. I'll have to see how I can repair that. So yeah, I mean, just in this little grouping right here, I'm very, very happy. I, I like this brooch too, this pewter that I said looks like miracle to me, um, but says something else. I like this juicy couture. This was a cute little piece right here. That's like a nice little contemporary piece of jewelry. Overall, I'm very, very pleased. This weird little dog dude. <laughs> he looks like he's part lion, part dog. I think he's super cute. Overall, I'm super happy for me. New Jersey always ends up being the best location for blue boxes. I tend to get the best quality coming from New Jersey. So I'm always like praying that everything comes from New Jersey, but we know that's not the case. We can never guarantee where they come from. But anyway, listen, I so appreciate you guys being here and you know coming along with me on this journey. It was super, super fun unboxing to do. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Give me a like on the way out and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you at the next one. Bye.